Hello and welcome back to my channel Fly High with Priya. So first of all, happy Dashera to all of you. Today in this video, I'll be discussing the summary of the play All for Love, which is written by John Dryden. And it is the, you know, admitted sequel of Antony and Cleopatra, which is a play written by William Shakespeare. And uh, it is a play in which love is tested by time, with the times. Uh, there is uh, the theme of uh, war, jealousy, and uh, uh, this kind of things are happening. And the love between the two uh, is tested. And whether they win in this particular test, uh, in these particular tests or not, it is described. So what happens that uh, when the play opens, it is described that the war of Rome has ended and Julius Caesar is dead now. Octavius is the new Caesar or the new king of Rome and, he, uh, and Antony has helped him. And that's why Antony and Octavia, Octavia is the sister of Octavius, they are married and they are having kids. Now Antony is in love with uh, Cleopatra and that's why he has abandoned his wife as well as children and that's why he's living in uh, Alexandria, Egypt with Cleopatra. Now as the play, play opens what happens that Saffron, a pre priest, he is basically telling that something bad is going to happen means some uh, bad things are, may occur in the future. So he's basically telling all these things and Antony and Cleopatra are very much worried about this thing. Uh, as the Saffron was talking, Alexis, who is the servant of uh, Cleopatra, he basically arrives and he interrupts that nothing will happen. Means everything will be good. Uh, he is the uh, person, means Alexis is a person uh, who just uh, means uh, who is the uh, ardent servant of um, Cleopatra. He is very much devoted uh, towards her and he wants that the best thing should happen to Cleopatra. And uh, he is always worried that uh, one day Antony will leave Cleopatra alone. And uh, he uh, and that's why he just wants that everything should be perfect. Uh, some, uh, nothing should happen to both of them. Uh, she should always be happy. Cleopatra should be happy in her life. So he basically uh, just shuts away all that particular thoughts of uh, the priest. Now as the play moves forward, what happens? Antony is very much worried and the uh, cause of worry is that Octavius, as he has left Octavia, so Octavius is very sad and that's why uh, he has, uh, you know, arrived uh, near Alexandria and he has just, you know, uh, he has uh, just uh, he's uh, he's uh, surround, he has surrounded, you can say, Alexandria and the army troops are standing and he sends Vestidius. Now, Vestidius is a person who is an acquaintance from Rome and he is an uh, acquaintance of Antony and he is a knight and he arrives and he tells that you should leave Cleopatra and you should go back to your, uh, you know, um, to your wife, to, uh, to Octavia and if you will do so, I'll help you uh, in the war and you will not uh, lose in that particular war or you will not be killed. Means I am ready to give 10,000 uh, army persons to you uh, if you agree that you will leave Cleopatra and you will come with me. So Antony here, he agrees, means as he is very much worried that he'll be killed. So he's ready to leave uh, this uh, Octavia and he says that, okay, I'll buy a goodbye to her and I'll tell her uh, that, okay, I'm leaving. I'm going back to my uh, wife. Now, as Antony goes, Octavia, he tells Octavia this very thing, uh, Cleopatra, sorry, he tells Cleopatra all these things and uh, he she just you know persuades him she says that i love you i won't be able to live with you without you you please stay with me nothing will happen means uh, by uh, all showing the love and care she says that octavius has sent uh, a letter to me that if i leave you uh, and if i go to octavius then he will keep me as a mistress means he'll keep me happy uh, he'll give me everything but i'm in so much deep love with you that I have you know shattered away that very thought and I haven't paid any heed towards this whatever the uh, letter was so how can you do this to me I'm in so much uh, in love with you so you should also uh, love me and you should not leave me uh, in the middle so uh, all these things do have affects uh, uh, and Antony and finally he says that okay I won't be leaving I'll face uh, whatever the uh, situation is, I, whatever the circum circumstances become, I'll be there by your side. So Antony refuses. Now then, as the play moves, there is an entry of another character and the another character is Dolabella. Dolabella is again a friend of uh, this 
Antony and he has come uh, here uh, you know to just uh, make Antony believe that Octavia is in love with you and you should I mean you should be there with her and you should leave uh, uh, this Cleopatra and you should accompany him to Rome and if he will do so he won't be uh, killed or means there will be uh, there will be no war Cleopatra will be okay will be fine Dolabella is a person who uh, you know likes Cleopatra very much means he's in love with her and uh, he wants uh, to woe her but as Antony is his friend and he's in love with Cleopatra so nothing can be done and Cleopatra also loves Antony so what happens that as Antony was not ready so finally what Dolabella does he shows uh, means he shows he has brought Octavia and his children means Antony's children uh, with him so he uh, finally as he was not able to persuade him so he says okay I'll uh, means uh, he calls Octavia and o when Octavia appears Antony is you know uh, feels guilty and he uh, he becomes ready that okay I'll accompany you means I leave Cleopatra and uh, he says that I won't be uh, saying goodbye to Cleopatra because if I go there, I won't be able to, you know, I won't be able to say goodbye to her. So please, you go. Uh, he says, Dola Bella, please, you go. And you, uh, on behalf of me, you just tell Cleopatra that I am leaving. And uh, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, so Dola Bella just goes and tells this thing before uh, the arrival of Dola Bella. Alexis has heard everything and he just go, uh, goes and tells Cleopatra everything. Uh, Cleopatra is not able to believe that how can this uh, this thing be possible means Antony can't do anything um, uh, any sort of this thing and uh, she was not able to believe uh, the words of Alexis and as she was in the uh, deep distress finally Dolabella arrives and he states that okay uh, that whatever you heard you were you are right uh, Antony is leaving uh, Alexandria and he'll be accompanying his wife Octavia now what happened as this lady uh, Cleopatra she was dis uh, she was means in distress she was not able to believe that this can't be possible Octavia arrives and Octavia tells that okay uh, means I know that my husband loves you means I control his brain his head and uh, you control his heart but you know uh, we won't be separated means he's accompanying me and I'll be the winner Octavia says these things and Cleopatra is not able to believe he sh she says that I want to meet uh, Antony but uh, what happens that she plans a thing she says that okay to uh, persuade this person Antony means uh, that he should stay here only uh, we should uh, means do something so she plans that Vesti, uh, this Dola Bella and uh, this uh, Cleopatra they will uh, pose like means they will uh, behave like as if they are a couple means now they are dating each other kind of means they are in love with each other so they just a thing that okay that Antony uh, this Cleopatra and Dolabella are now together and they are in love. When Antony hears this this thing, what will happen? He'll be jealous as he in, is in deep love with Cleopatra. So when Antony hears this thing that Dolabella has started uh, dating, or you can in that times dating was not uh, the, was not the word used. So when he says that. Uh, uh, Dolabella has wooed whatever uh, this Cleopatra is so he is very much jealous and he just says that okay I'll question Cleopatra uh, the news arrives that Cleopatra has died means someone has killed uh, this girl Cleopatra and Antony is not able to believe his uh, ears and he cannot live without uh, Cleopatra so he finally uh, with his own knife he just uh, stabs himself and he gets killed uh, means he kills himself he uh, he uh, commits suicide and uh, cleopatra came running after and she just calls antony antony and uh, she was in very much distress antony uh, she says that i am alive and, uh, uh, and cleopatra cannot uh, take that you know take that death uh, of antony and as he had died so she also what she does that she uh, opens uh, means uh, she brings a snake and she uh, makes that snake bite her and through that uh, venom of snake she also dies so on this particular note uh, uh, on this particular note that um, 
they have uh, means they both are killed this play ends now you'll be thinking that i didn't tell you that what happened to octavia now when uh, they were you know feigning that we are couple means who cleopatra and uh, this dolabella they were saying now that we were couple so antony says that he won't be leaving cleopatra and he'll talk to her so on that very note octavia was very much sad and angry she means thinks that i'm not able to convince this man uh, i'm not able to persuade him so i don't want to live with him means he's good for nothing i can't Uh, you know spoil my life after him so he uh, sh so she leaves uh, she leaves the like note yeah. the play ends i hope the summary is very much clear to you thank you thank you for watching jaane se pehle don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos till then bye bye